YouTube, it's Thea, and this video is going to be an unhaul. So I always talk about how I don't do a lot of unhauls on my channel, and I've been trying to get better about doing unhauls because I think that um, unhauls are really refreshing, and it's like nothing bad against like the books in general. For me, anyway, it's more like books that either I'm not a huge fan of anymore, or I wasn't a huge fan of when I read them, don't want to keep them, uh, books I bought that I haven't read that I'm no longer interested in. I just like to pass on, you know, new books for new people to enjoy and find a new favorite. Um, because with limited space, since I have this one bookshelf, I've got like three tubs of books in my spare bedroom. Um, so I try to kind of rotate pretty frequently um, as far as my books. And since I've been hauling a lot recently, I figured it's time to part with some of these. So uh, no more rambling from me, but without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, these aren't really in any particular order. I'm just going to kind of go through them as I pull them from the stack. The first one being an ARC, and that is the Tiger's Daughter. Uh, I don't remember where I got this. I think I got it either in a Goodreads giveaway or maybe from Comic-Con one year. Um, at the time, I was very interested in reading it. I'm still interested in reading it, but I don't need this ARC. Um, I want to pass this. I'm going to actually be donating this to either my little free library or like a shelter um, or a school library or something like that where a reader can discover this and maybe it'll be a favorite for them. Um, but I do still, I still am interested in reading this. I just don't need this physical copy. I am also going to be unhauling Melmoth by Sarah Perry. I actually did read this. I enjoyed it enough. I wasn't a huge fan of it. It's not something I probably will ever reread. I don't need this ARC copy on my shelves. So I am going to be parting with this. Again, this is either is going to go to either this also will either go to my little free library or a school library or a shelter of some kind. And then the last ARC that I have that I'm going to be parting with is Reincarnation Blues. I do actually remember winning this in a Goodreads giveaway and was intrigued by it at the time and honestly I completely forgot about it um, until I pulled it out of my I pulled it out of the shed and I have no interest in reading it so I'm going to be passing this along as well. I have two maybe books in this pile as well. I don't know if I'm going to unhaul these yet but um, I don't know if I liked them enough to keep them or continue on with the series so the first one I am thinking about unhauling not quite sure yet is One Day in December by Josie Silver. I actually just read this um, in December. Didn't love it, didn't hate it. I think I ended up giving it like three, three and a half stars. Um, it's taking up a lot of space on the shelves for something I didn't love. And um, I've been getting better about unhauling Book of the Month books that I don't love. Um, so I haven't quite decided if I'm going to unhaul this yet or not, or I might just give it to one of my friends. Um, but this one is still kind of up in the air as far as if I'm going to get rid of it or not. Uh, and then the other one is The Cool Prince by Holly Black. I feel like I'm going to get like struck down for this one. Um, I read this, uh, last year and enjoyed it enough. Um, I mean, I can definitely understand why people love it not quite my thing and I didn't love it. I ended up giving it like three, three and a half stars. I don't know yet if I'm going to continue on with this series. Um, I don't know if I like it enough to buy all three books. Um, so this one I'm still kind of debating, but I know it's an autograph copy. So there is going to be someone out there who is going to like love having this for their collection or for their shelves. Um, or someone who hasn't read it yet and it's like the perfect fit for them um, even though it wasn't the perfect fit for me we shall see I haven't quite decided uh, the jury is still out on this one and then the last books in these un in this unhaul is just kind of just random books that I were pulling that I was pulling out um, as I was cleaning the first one is Aberat by Clive Barker this I am only getting rid of because we have another edition and we have the edition we bought. I got the edition that we really liked and that's like oversized paperback, big floppy paperback and it's got the illustrations. So we don't need two copies. This is the only reason why we're getting rid of this book. I do really, really enjoy this book, um, but we have two editions and I don't need this one. So I am also unhauling What She Knew by Gilly McMillan. Um, I honestly have no idea what this book is about. I picked it up in a library a book sale haul not that long ago. Um, it was a, it's like a thriller mystery. I picked it up maybe for like 
a spookathon or maybe I was like oh maybe I'll do it for like a buzzword a thon but I really honestly don't really have much interest in it and I'd rather give it to a homo someone who will love it so I'm going to be passing this along as well I'm also getting rid of middle sex um this I got oh from Goodwill who maybe a year year and a half ago um it was part of like a buy four get one free so I kind of just picked it up needing enough books um, I am interested in reading it, uh, but I just don't think it's something that I need to keep on my shelves right now. Um, it's probably not something I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to for a while, so I can always pick it up from the library or find a used copy really cheap, but, um, for what I'm, where I'm at right now with my reading, it's not something that I'm gonna get to, and it's just collecting, it's just taking up space at this point, so I will be passing this along to my used bookstore. Almost Mercies is the next book I will be unhauling uh, by April Genevieve to Colt. I did just recently haul this. I we bought this uh, full price for my book club and we read it and I wasn't a huge fan of it and probably not something I'm ever going to reread and I don't really feel like I love it enough to keep it so I'm going to be passing this along to my used bookstore. Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker I'm also getting rid of. Um, I tried to read this uh, last year and I DNF'd it uh, about a quarter of the way through. I was thinking about probably trying to pick it up again, um, but in all reality, I probably won't. Um, it's just not where I'm at with my reading. And again, if it's a book of the month book that I just don't love, I have so many that I'm super behind on anyway, um, I would rather pass this along. And if I do ever wanna read it, I can always pick it up from the library. So. I will be passing this along to the used bookstore as well. Also be unhauling Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Um, I have another copy of this. I picked this up from a library book sale haul for like a dollar or two. Um, and I actually met Robin and she did sign this copy. Um, but I already have the newly released paperback edition, which I love so much more. And um, if I, I haven't read this yet, but when I do read it, if I do like it, I'll continue with the paperback series. Um, so I will be passing this along to the used bookstore as well. Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. This was another one that I just recently hauled and purchased full price, brand new uh, for a book club, but I just could not get through it. I ended up DNFing it maybe a little less than halfway through. Um, and honestly, probably just not gonna get around to reading it. And if I do wanna read it, I can always pick up a new copy or get it from the library. So this will be passed along to the local used bookstore as well. The second to last book in this unhaul is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. No, don't murder me. I haven't read this yet. I'm not getting rid of it because I hated it or anything. I have a second copy. Um, I got two copies for Christmas and uh, this one did get a little bit of water damage coming home from the holiday. So I am gonna be passing this along to someone who will love it. And I already have a copy. I haven't read this yet. I'm so excited to read it, uh, but I don't need two copies. So this can go to a loving home. And the last book in my unhaul is actually three books. It is a box set of the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mafi. Um, I read the first book a few years ago as an audiobook, and I enjoyed it enough. Um, and I got this box set like brand new for my dad for Christmas, woo, three or four years ago. Um, and honestly, if I haven't read it by now, I'm probably not going to. My reading tastes have changed since I first acquired this and I don't think I'm gonna ever really read it. And I have no interest in continuing on and like picking up the new ones. So I will be unhauling this um, box set and it can go to a home of someone who will enjoy it a lot more. So here is my large pile of books I'm unhauling. Uh, for the start of 2020. Um, it feels really kind of refreshing and it's like a new start to kind of make some space on my shelves for some new books that I'm much more interested in. Nothing against any of these, just a lot of them um, I'm no longer interested in reading or I didn't love enough to keep. All of the books other than the arcs are going to my used bookstore. Maybe get some credit and find some new favorites. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're well. Happy reading and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.